17 News is your local election headquarters, and tonight we continue our series featuring candidates in our local races. Seven candidates are running for three open seats on the Delano City Council. 17's Perla Shaheen tells us what one candidate says he plans to do if elected. Perla? Today, I spoke with Jaime Mendoza, who says his experience will bring Delano the money it needs to make change. Mendoza was born and raised in Delano, and his family has been in the city for three generations. He has a wife and two daughters, and has worked in mortgage lending for over 20 years. He now manages the Delano branch of a mortgage company called iServe. Outside of his job, he's been the board president of the North Kern South Tulare Hospital District for 13 years. He says his experience can finance... And I just in finance can bring revenue that Delano needs to deal with issues like crime and water infrastructure. To the residents of Delano, I want to say, we're in a pandemic, there's some questionable tough times ahead, and I've learned how to get the hospital district through it, I've heard, learned how to get my business through it, so that taught me how to get this city through it. So I just want the town to trust me and to know that Delano is my heart. Delano is my soul. This is where I'm from. This is who I am. People have asked, are you Republican or Democrat? I'm Delano. In his free time, he volunteers with a handful of nonprofit organizations. He's worked with one called Cinco de Mayo Fiestas for over 20 years and hosts many local sporting events. Mendoza is also the only non-incumbent candidate who was endorsed by the Delano Police Officers Association. It's a crowded ballot, and we have one more candidate in this race to speak with, incumbent council member Joe Alindahow. More to come soon. I'm Perla Shaheen for 17 News.